Joy at Red Pen Quilt Shop. Today we're going to talk about adhesives and I want to share with you my four favorite and most used glues. So we're going to start out with these two. They are ones that I use for basting. I use them for basting when I'm piecing instead of actually pinning. And the one that I use the most is the seam aligned glue. So it's the one here is the one that I use the most, but I also use the glue basted. And I'm gonna to talk to you about the differences between the two and why I use them both and when I use them both. So they are both um, basting glues. They both have really nice fine needle nose applicators. Is that a good angle to show that? Um, so they both can actually put very tiny little drops of glue out. The Roxanne's product will dry quite quickly on its own. So the one advantage to this is that you don't have to heat set it. It will dry very quickly on its own. But there are times when you really don't want the glue to dry too fast. So that's why I actually use the seam aligned glue more because it was designed to not dry too quickly. So I can put a series of small dots out. Say I'm gluing an outer border onto a quilt. I'm getting ready to sew an outer border on and I want to glue it instead of pinning it. I can actually do a couple foot long section of border and then go ahead and get everything aligned and I heat set it real quickly with my iron. And the nice thing about the seam aligned glue is it doesn't dry so fast that I don't have time to get things lined up. The other advantage to the seam aligned glue, which is one of the things that I like about it, is the fact that it is a glue that will actually release with a little bit of a tug. And it, it's a very slight tug. So if I line two pieces up and I don't get it perfect and I realize that, I can pop the seam aligned glue apart. It's not going to come apart, but I can pop it apart without stretching my fabric. The Roxanne's product, once that is glued, it is pretty much set and you're going to tug pretty hard to get that to let loose and come apart. And usually what I would end up finding is if I had used Roxanne's, especially if I had any pieces with bias, they would end up getting stretched. So I prefer the seam aligned glue because it is a light release. If I do need to take something apart and go ahead and reposition it, reline it up and glue it. But I use these products, primarily the seam aligned glue, all the time instead of pinning. The other nice thing that I like about the seam aligned glue is that when it dries, you don't get crusty spots. With Roxanne's, you will get crusty spots. And if you're doing any kind of hand stitching, it is difficult to sometimes get a hand needle through those crusty places where the Roxanne's has dried. So that's the other thing that I like better about the seam aligned glue. If you are doing um, applique and maybe you're glue basting a needle turn applique piece in place and you're planning on you know, hand whip stitching that applique down or you're gonna hand blanket stitch it, I like the seam aligned glue for that because I can hand needle through it and I don't have those tough spots. So that's the advantages of the seam aligned glue, but you do have to, to dry it quickly, you do have to heat set it with an iron. So usually if I'm using it in place of pinning, I'm working right on my ironing board, I'm lining pieces up, and then a quick tap with the, with the, the toe of my iron, and I have it dry and I have it set. The Roxanne's though, I do use, and I use it when I'm in an application where I don't want to have to press and I want it to dry pretty quickly on its own. I will use Roxanne sometimes if I am gluing an applique down and I'm planning on machine stitching it because it will dry pretty fast if I glue base with that. I'll also use it actually to glue my binding quite often. Um, I machine stitch my bindings, so after I've sewn my binding to the front of the clip, I'll quilt, I'll flip my binding around to the back, and I'll glue base it with Roxanne's. And I can sit and do that in front of the TV if I want to at night and get it all glued based it down and then I can take it to my sewing machine and finish stitching my binding. So in that application, I don't wanna to have to iron it. I want it to air dry pretty fast on its own. So I use both products. Um, I use definitely the seam align more, 
but they both have their place and I like both um, of them because they have that nice fine tip applicator. The Roxanne's comes in a couple different formats and not all of the bottles have this applicator so you want to definitely watch for that fine um, needle point applicator. They are both products that will wash out. I have two other products that I'm going to show you. I use these products primarily when I am doing um, embellishments. So if I'm gluing an embellishment down, I will use these two products. Of the four glues that I'm showing you, there is one glue that is actually a permanent glue, and that is the Fabri-Tac here on the end. The other glues are actually all glues that will wash out. Um, the Fabri-Tac is the only one that is a permanent um, adhesive. So if you're doing something and you don't plan on stitching it and you want it to stay put long term, um, the Fabri-Tac is a good way to go. It is not a glue though that you can hand needle through and it's going to gum up even a machine needle if you try to machine needle through it. So it's kind of meant to be used for things that you're not planning to sew. You want to just glue it and be done. Fabri-Tac is a great glue. It will hold a lot of different materials. It was actually developed originally for costumers, so they were using it to glue sequins and all sorts of embellishment items onto costumes. So it will really hold a lot of different materials and it has a really good hold. The thing that I like about both of these glues is they both have the consistency of a hot glue. If you've worked with a hot glue gun, you know how it comes out and it's a little bit thicker, it's easy to handle. Um, it's not a glue that's running all over on you. They both have that same consistency and they both dry quite quickly. So one is permanent, one is not permanent. So that sometimes is what dictates my decision. I use Fabri-Tac a lot if I'm doing machine embroidery. Um, if I'm doing freestanding lace or dimensional projects, the Fabri-Tac is a great gl glue to glue like the walls of a freestanding lace house together. Um, it works wonderful for that. Um, and the, um, the tacky glue will work as well. Um, it, like I said, is one though that does wash out. So, you know, you wanna make sure you think about the application. A lot of those embellishment things, so you're never gonna wash them anyway. So the Fabri-Tac has a little bit longer list of materials that it will adhere well to and hold. Um, but they are both glues that are, are ones that I use often um, for those embellishment type gluing projects. And I like the consistency of both because they're easy to work with. So those are the four adhesives that I have on my shelf and I use actually quite often. Um, Handstone, the one that I go through the most of is the seam align glue um, because I use it all the time when I'm piecing instead of pinning. When you pin things, you actually distort the seams as you pin. So the nice thing about the seam align glue is you don't have that distortion. Everything lays flat. You get things lined up perfectly and you can um, just go ahead and sew. You don't have to go back and pull pins out later. So I use this really in place of pins um, almost exclusively anymore. So it is a wonderful product. It was developed by a sewing machine repairman. He and his wife developed it. They wanted to make sure that it was safe for your sewing machines um, and that it was a non-toxic product because you're getting it on your fingers as you're working with any of these adhesives. Um, and that was one of their key development criteria was environmentally sound process for manufacturing it, safe for the machines, safe for the people. Um, so I use this one a lot. I actually buy it in a big bottle and fill my, my small bottle in. Um, but I do use all of them. There's points in time when they all are the best fit for the job. And that's what we hope we shared with you today is kind of the different clues and when they are gonna work um, work well, what they're going to be best for. So thank you for joining us today. We hope you got some good tips um, out of this on adhesives and what's the best one for the job at hand.